there. <laughs> and what's your favorite channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. Welcome back to Why in the Morning. And if it's Tuesday, it's the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Michelle Ashira. In this session, we are about to have a very interesting conversation on, and we are touching on how branding drives real business growth. Because at the end of the day, we are speaking on profit margins when it comes to your business and how to go back on the drawing board if things are not going well for you creating awareness for your brand uh, as well so in studio i'm joined with i'm joined uh, uh, with james ongetti who is the co-founder of liquid branding thank you very much james for creating time to be with us thank you too uh -huh. um, pleasure to be my all mine to be on hey. saturday all right yes. so nailewa you are from county 001 all the way from county ah, not from county 001 <laughs> <laughs> I'm from uh, Kakamega, uh -huh. but uh, for the hustle part of it, uh -huh. I'm from Kam 001. Uh, from Mombasa, so, yeah. Yes, Mombasa. Okay, Mombasa so, to be precise. Uh, I know I've uh, mentioned uh, the perspective of you running the liquid uh, uh, branding business. Take us through a brief background of who James is, where he grew up, and what he pursued back in campus. Ongeti James is a... Uh, a young village village man from Kakamega mm -hmm. who grew up and was bred in Kakamega. And then, uh, of course, I, I went to university, I was 12th university in 2011. My first time coming to Nairobi, don't mind about that. I did uh, a bachelor's in business of information technology. Unfortunately, I never finished. I only did one year. Okay. And then uh, issues happened, mm -hmm. family issues, mm -hmm. which forced us to, to stop my education. For, 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 for our family well-being. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, we had to move from Kakamega now to settle in Busia. Mm -hmm. So of course now settling in Busia, things changed. Because when I was in Kakamega, we had everything at our disposal. Mm -hmm. Of course my dad was well, well, well up to, to sustain us. But now we went back to the drawing board of now how we're going to pick up our life. And that's when uh, uh, the hustling part came in. I would, like to, uh, I would do a few things to sustain myself. I could not sit home, but I came back to Nairobi to find out what can I do. I didn't start with the branding, but I used to do manual jobs here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can just mention a few. I've been a packer at uh, uh, EPZ uh, companies within Isli, uh, not, not Isli, just at uh, TRM, not TRM, mm -hmm. uh, within Ambakasi for some time. Out of it, I met new friends whom used to chat our way, way out. Mm -hmm. It never ended there. Out of it, I got employment with the Zakim International. Okay. Now, with Zakim International, at least I was able to do something based on, the, uh, on IT. Right. Uh, the best thing with it is uh, we were being accommodated along the Mombasa, Mombasa Nairobi Highway. So no paying rent, no nothing. So there was cash flow. Mm -hmm. Out of Zakim International, I had a chance to... That's where the branding started, at a hotel in Mariakani. Uh, it was a funny story. We were being served breakfast with the waiters. So they came, out, they came in, of course, dressed in their hotel uniforms. I made fun of it. Like, hey, you guys, you look like Form 1 kids. They laughed about it. Mm -hmm. Of course, they were looking like Form 1 kids. So then they were like... Uh, Which colors are the uniform? It was red, white, and some mix of uh, some maroon there. Okay. Yeah, so they were like, they challenged me. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can provide something better for us? I being the go-getter that I am, I took the chance, not knowing where I can get uniforms for them. Google was my friend. I searched a little bit where can I get one or two things. There's a company in the industrial area called the Mantos Enterprises. I contacted them. From their website, I picked a particular polo shirt. Mm -hmm. I told them, can you just repl replicate for me this type of polo? And for the logo, Put this name. It's called Shalma Hotel. Mm -hmm. They did for me a sample. I don't know them. They sent it over to Mombasa. I delivered to my client. They liked it. I sold that polo at 1,700. Mm -hmm. And right away they gave me an order for, there were 15 polo shirts. And how much had you like, spent when it comes to I had spent purchasing all, them? For purchasing, I had, being a sample, they had charged me a thousand shillings for a sample. Okay. That's uh, the t-shirt plus the branding because they stitched from scratch. So what was your profit margin? The profit margin, of course, now was 500 shillings. No, <laughs> because That's now when you exclude 200 shillings for parcel fee, uh -huh. I had my 500 shillings. Okay. Yeah, so the idea came up from like, okay, fine. 
I started doing research about now packaging it as a business because my contract was almost ending. So I got at them, uh, corporate masters, because mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to do. Like, okay, I had done my research. I saw what people were doing out there. And I'm like, why can't I specialize on the corporate side? Mm -hmm. Because with corporate side, we might be having uh, maybe yearly orders, maybe monthly orders. That's my, my perspective now. Like, I need to generate income out of it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that, uh, that's way back in 2016. 2016, yes. wow, okay, that's been a journey so far. Yes. What made you all listen to your story, like uh, you, before even Liquid uh, Branding was even born, uh, you even you tried different companies, working for different companies, and just the, the leap of um, faith that you took all the way from home to coming to Nairobi. What made you so consistent and not fearing the, you know, the fear of the unknown, per se? Uh, what made me to really be a go-getter is uh, I fear poverty. And as I told you, when we were in Kakamega, we were well off. Mm -hmm. I could get anything I need at any time. Now, when we went to Busia, things went to zero. So my main goal was, can I bring my family to where we were, or much mm -hmm. better? Mm -hmm. Having in mind, we're only a family of two, I and my elder sister. Mm -hmm. oh. So the driving force was I having my family at a better position. Mm -hmm. That's why I had told them, no, I can't sit here. Let me move out and find a way. All right. There yes. we have 2016 liquid branding was born. So, so far, what would you say uh, is the, like, the importance uh, of uh, branding for a business? Branding for a business is... Uh, because someone can just decide to find a truly Kenyaji. You know, I'll start my business anyhow. Yeah, the, 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 the Kenyaji is there, yes. The people who are doing Kenyaji and yeah, are still, they're still they're making it, they're which is okay. Yes. But what makes you stand out? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can look, look at me as a person. You can see what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. It sells me out. Before you ask me my name, you'll see what I'm wearing. You're like, hey, hey, where do you get that T-shirt? Mm -hmm. That sells me. Mm -hmm. So from my own, I'm able to sell what I wear. If I try to sell that idea to someone else, it works. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a good example. In 2017, now during the campaigns, after people learned that I'm doing branding or the printing part, there's one politician who approached me. That's from home. It was during the last days of campaigns to election. Then he was like, yo, you dude, I see you are doing one or two things. Is there something you can do for me? So I repackaged something for him. They were normal banners, yes. But of course, they were outstanding enough. We did four banners. And up to date, he still remembers you made my name to be known everywhere. It, it was little known name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Speaking about uh, in that in that particular story, machine you are approaching you and just making them known uh, to maybe his target uh, people, even in a broader way. How can one, if you're running any sort of business, be it in product or service, how can they create awareness through branding? Probably you can take us through elements of branding. Uh, I'll talk of elements of branding on the marketing side. Yes, huh? yes. Uh, how how a business going to package itself? Of course, having a good logo makes you stand out. Out of the logo, now we go to personal or the, the personal wear. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing on your day-to-day -day basis to work? Are you doing the corporate way, like you are doing a suit from down to or from uh, head to toe, or are you doing branded shirts or something? Mm -hmm. Now, I I I I, I, I uh, most of the time I do advise my clients. Before you talk about what you do, the visual aspect mm -hmm. matters a lot. And when you talk about the visual aspects, that's when branded uniforms come in. Are you doing a branded shirt Monday to Friday? Mm -hmm. Are you having a polo on, your fri on a Friday? If you are doing Juakali, are you putting on a branded overall or something, even the dust coat? It makes you stand out. So the visual aspect, mm -hmm. it markets you. Okay. They're not you just as the business owner. You can as well gift your your customers it sells you out it's a form of free marketing okay. yes so you're going to spend on your own where but you are marketing out freely fantastic yes we have to sales cycle and you'll agree with me especially the marketing uh, spectrum a brand that is well known they don't really struggle when it comes to sales because i easily identify with maybe liquid branding so when i come to liquid branding i'm not uh, there's the credibility aspect of it because True that. I'm aware about your brand. So when it comes to uh, how does one like build a strong brand to that level that will increase sales? A strong brand that increases sales, of course, uh, consistency matters. Mm -hmm. Are you delivering what you promise? That really matters. 
are you engaging with your clients? That matters. Because in as much as my name might be there, but I'm not delivering what the customers need, then I'll be faced out. Mm -hmm. So timely delivery, mm -hmm. uh, being specific on what you're delivering, really matters a lot. It mm -hmm. keeps you afloat. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when it comes to, to branding, I believe also for anyone, uh, I always feel that it all falls back to per perceived value. Because if you tell me that this particular uh, shirt that uh, you have designed and uh, added uh, graphics, that it's going to sell for this particular person, someone, as another person, another company sells it at a particular price. I feel that uh, it always boils down to perception. So when it comes to uh, creating a niche yourself in the market how do you go about it probably could take us two tips as well uh, I'll be a good example uh, I do support other businesses mm -hmm. which are selling brands they have segmented their market we have guys who like no uh, let's have an example like this town eh? mm -hmm. we have the Moya Avenue side and we have the the River Road side you can have a shirt selling at 2000 on Moya Avenue the same shirt you can get at 500 in River Road, right? Mm -hmm. So your target market here matters a lot. Okay. Then uh, whatever I'm going to sell to you at a thousand might not be the same thing I'm going to sell to someone else at uh, 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. So quality matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for, for my case, I decided to do on a, uh, to, le to levelize the ground in such a way that I'm able to capture both ends. Right. How am I doing that? I'm working on quality, mm -hmm. but still I'm maintaining the same price. Okay. If you check on my website, I've maintained the prices of shirts mm -hmm. all the way from 2016 up to date. Mm -hmm. His prices have increased, but I've maintained mine for a reason. I haven't changed my quality. It's still the same. Mm -hmm. But if you come to me and tell me, no, I don't want that higher quality. I need something lower to it. Still, I'll find something for you. Mm -hmm. So we get the balance. Okay. Yes. Uh, probably can take us through the product that we have on uh, on set and what you guys do as liquid branding in terms of uh, uh, you know the merchandise that we have. Okay, maybe just before I take you through this, mm -hmm. uh, something just to clarify mm -hmm. on the branding part or the printing part. Okay, I have uh, two type of clientele. Mm -hmm. I got the individual clients and the corporate clients. Okay, with in individual clients, I mean you are getting your T-shirt for the weekend, you are getting a hoodie for the weekend, and all that. Then now for the corporate clans, now here they're coming in like they need corporate shirts, they need corporate, uh, corporate polo shirts and all mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what I'm having here is, uh, I got this uh, t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's an Ankara inspired print. Oh, okay. Yes. It's not stitched with Ankara, but it's Ankara inspired print. Oh, like I got, I oh did it's printed. Yeah, that's printed, it's not okay, stitched. It's not fabric, okay. Yes. Uh, we have nice. those who are doing, of course, stitched uh, fabrics, uh -huh. but I got clients who don't like the stitched ones. Mm. They're like, no, can you do something, maybe, which is not stitched? So oh. I had to, these are, in fact, a new product, okay. and we, we are launching it this month. Oh, fantastic. And you are lucky to be, to have it. Oh, oh my goodness, thank you. Yes. I appreciate. All right, and then uh, we have... Then here, there's still, this is still part of uh, individu individual wares for the weekend. Okay. These are just customized uh, prints mm -hmm. to your own preference. Now, oh, what like a client can come to you and tell you like... Yes, uh, now what, what normally happens here is, what they want. of course, I normally do my own designs, mm -hmm. which I sell out to people. All right. But then there are those who come out with their own wordings or their own customized writings. Mm -hmm. Now what we do is, of course, we do a design for them. They choose. Now if you come to me with your own design, you own that design. Mm -hmm. I can never sell it to someone else. Mm -hmm. to avoid duplication mm -hmm. so that you may not wear a shirt today you're meeting someone you, i don't like the kenya uniform part of it mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. so these are an inspired design just someone shared whatever she she, she needed then mm. it's written voice of voice faith. of voice of faith oh yeah, sounds faith. like a choir or something <laughs> <laughs> no she's a voice voice of faith oh yeah yes yeah. yeah. then being the month of love we have uh -huh. something here these oh, are glitter yeah. prints oh yes maybe you can really have beautiful. you can have a feel of them oh yeah the texture, yeah? The, te no, the texture of the print. Oh, yeah. You can like, uh, Yes. Yes. Does it fade? It doesn't. Oh, okay. Quality guaranteed. Oh, right. Yes. Then uh, some other inspired prints which have come up uh, of late mm -hmm. is using uh, images on prints. Like these are normal prints, mm -hmm. let go and let God. Mm -hmm. But if you can confirm, when the let go, it is somehow like a desert, then you go to let God, Mm -hmm. You know, the environment changes to green or oh, something. Yeah, it's all go green. Yes. Environment, so yeah. instead of just having one writing like just in the same color, mm -hmm. I'm trying to come up with images that I can use in 
writings. Oh, creativity. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then now away from the t-shirts, you also do custom stitching of uh, sweatpants, mm -hmm. hoodies, and all that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can have a, now these are Ankara, in, Ankara in, uh, inspired as well. Oh, is it fabricated? No, this fabricated or? now. Okay, fabricated. Okay. Yes. This oh. tailored now, as, right. as compared to the other one. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can find that you can have this one with a matching uh, snoody mm -hmm. as well, okay. and a matching t-shirt for the same. Mm -hmm. So like you can have a, a, a white t-shirt, but with this type of anchor on it. Oh, you mean like the white t-shirt? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that, that's what I ha I'm having on touch. And of course the mug. Uh, and, and the mug, mm -hmm. if you need mugs. Mugs, we, go, we, bought the, we got normal mugs, we have mm -hmm. magic mugs. The magic mug is where by it can have an image when you pour in hot water, oh, yeah. it's able to I change. Now you can be able to see the color. Oh, fantastic. Yes. So uh, how can a brand uh, uh, just position itself in a way that it retains or acquires loyalty among its customer base? Because I believe you, you deal with a lot of potential clients i also want to believe that also clients who go and come back as well like what do you do just to retain clientele what i do to retain my clientele is uh, i've always tried to be innovative all, over time like if i did for you something today mm -hmm. i may not share the same item with you tomorrow mm -hmm. so i keep engaging them i do tailor tailor made uh, designs for individual clients that keeps them keeps them coming because if they see there's something new they're mm -hmm. like oh I need to come back. Mm -hmm. So we are, we, I try to diversify. Mm -hmm. If I did for your shirt today, I can try out and sell to you maybe Apollo next time. So different items at different times. Mm -hmm. Yes, then what keeps my clients coming is timely delivery and quality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. So it's all measured on the customer level. Oh, on the customer, yes. More of customer service. Yes. So as we wind up, what are some of the most common mistakes made by brands with, uh, you know, weak reputation in terms of marketing as well uh, from where you're seated or even like i'm so sure you've uh, engaged with other different brands that you also going to work with so what would be your your take on that a major setback on them is the copy paste aspect mm -hmm. we we fail to think that's one mm -hmm. we like to to recreate something which someone has done instead of doing it from scratch mm -hmm. yes so th those type of shortcuts mm -hmm. push people back. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. What are a couple of financial lessons that you have learned in your business so far? <sighs> financial lessons, uh, <laughs> I've had many, and okay. uh, it's still a journey. Maybe take us to top three. Up to? Uh, top three, top three lessons. Top I, three. I was having a conversation with Madam Elizabeth Ndoko. She's a financial uh, stroke investment advisor. And you're talking about matters on investing and everything. And as young people and how you can actually tap into um, opportunities out there. So that's why I would really like to find out in your business a couple of financial lessons that you have learned along the way. Well, I mean, probably let's go through the top three. Uh, not really in business, uh -huh. but just as a, yes. an individual. Yes, as an individual. As well, like of course, be, being a youth, we have the yellow aspect. Mm -hmm. We live, li we live li life one, so it's a mistake mm -hmm. we have gone through. And, but we are, I do appreciate it. It shaped me in one way or another. Mm -hmm. That's one. Then two, not prioritizing aspects you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, you might have money, but don't have a budget for it. Mm -hmm. Definitely, money you not budget for, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's number two. Mm -hmm. Number three, I'll say uh, spending on things you don't need, which, which normally happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might just, just that's impulse buying. You can have money, yes, maybe 10,000 right now. Mm -hmm. Then you see something which interests you, and you check it. Okay. Only to realize at the end of the day, oh, mm -hmm. I was to do something else, but yeah. So those are my top three for. Oh, wow, fantastic. Mm. We are so much uh, glad that you created time to be with us and taking us through uh, different aspects of branding. So I'd like for you to take this moment for our viewers who are watching and they want to keep the conversation going and they want to look for you as well, where they, where they can find you on social media. If you have a contact, you can uh, equally share. Camera is coming for. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Y254, for hosting me today. It's uh, much a pleasure. From uh, Liquid Branding, you can find us on uh, social media handles, on Facebook as Liquid Branding Limited, on Instagram and on TikTok as well. We do a, var uh, a variety of uh, brands, that's from both corporate and personal uh, printing. We do t-shirts, we do hoodies, we do gift items like diaries, notebooks and all that. But majorly what we focus on is your cu customer satisfaction. We are able to tailor made solutions meant for you to give you the market advantage to other competitors. You can check us anytime 
uh, on Facebook, uh, on my, or rather on WhatsApp, my number being 0707-063-696. Liquid Branding is physically located in Mombasa town. We, uh, we have a satellite office in Nairobi as well, and deliveries are done countrywide and all over the, over, all over the world. Welcome on board. Let's make a difference on how you position yourself in the market. All right. Thank you very much, uh, James Ongeti, who is the co-founder of Liquid Branding. Thank you very much for creating time. And also for this amazing uh, sh uh, shirt. You, thank you. You mentioned you. it is printed. What? It's an, an Ankara, Ankara inspired print. Ankara inspired print. Okay. Thank yes. you very much. Uh, that is uh, James Ongeti, co-founder of Liquid Branding. We're looking at uh, how branding drives a real business growth. I hope you've learned a couple of uh, uh, tips when it comes to branding and also how to position your business and creating awareness for it as well. We've come to the end of the program. Remember, our time frame is usually from 7 till 10 a.m. This is particularly for why in the morning we do this uh, on Wednesday, Monday to Friday. So create time to be with us every single uh, Monday to Friday, 7, 10, 7 to 10 a.m. At Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social and Ram Google. So for now, I'll bid you goodbye.